Um, women always complain that all men are assholes and there are no good men around. Yet they keep dating the same kind of guys, falling into the same traps and getting the same exact results. Why don't you do something different for once in your damn life and date that awkward friend that you've insisted on keeping in the friendship zone for the rest of his life? I bet you he's different and he knows you more than you think. Depends on the girl. I just know some girls that just don't know better. They haven't had a good guy treat them right, so they don't know what it means to have a nice guy. Why right now, all females too. Every other guy, but that one guy who's always been there for me. How about the guy asks about the girl? How about he mans up and says something to the girl? If he has feelings towards that girl. I think about, uh, they just love each other and uh, we just have like so many different things. Why, why you make it seem like it's, it's, it's wrong to be in the friendship zone? There's like nothing wrong, wrong about thing. it. You just, you guys are saying that we keep you there and we don't want to advance it. You don't want to make it something more. If you want to get out, there is a way out. Well, the, just figure out how to get out. Well, the thing is, we don't ever want to lose that friendship, so we try and like keep the friendship going on. If you like the person that much, it should be a risk worth taking. And if you guys have that foundation that you guys keep talking about that you have, you will go back to being friends. Mm -hmm. If not, then you guys would just part ways and you know you did your best and you did try. I'm taking a few opinions from uh, people on Facebook. And one of our listeners, uh, she were referring back to what you said earlier about how women should live in, women and men should live in two separate houses. She said that she finds you uh, being single for the rest of your life. <laughs> And another one of our um, <laughs> listeners wants to know, do men find it more sexy when women dress up and get dolled up and, you know, look good all the time? Or do you like it when a woman is just herself? Or is there some type of, does it need to be some type of balance? Yeah, I want a woman to look good, but you have to be reasonable. You know, if you're going to take 10 hours to get ready, hell no. <laughs> and to answer your friends, I'm not going to be single for the rest of my life, actually. The ladies love terrific. I'm called the Chocolate Thunder, <laughs> aka Chocolate Water. But women are ridiculous. They will check themselves their reflection in any shiny surface. Mirrors, spoons, store windows, bald guys' heads, whatever is shiny. Why the hell is that? I mean, if you're good looking, you're going to be good looking five minutes later. And if you're ugly, chances are you're going to be ugly five minutes later. I don't think it's us seeing if we're still pretty or still ugly. I just think everyone wants to look their best. So why not, you know, check yourself out. If there's a mirror, I'm going to look in it. Like, you know, it's just second nature to me. But I don't think it's me, like, being self-conscious or me like, oh my God, I'm, I'm ugly, so I'm going to look in the mirror to see if I change. Like, I don't, that's not what it is. It's just, I like to look my best. There are guys who actually take longer getting ready and staring at mirrors and have mirrors with them on their cell phones and everything. Yeah. I think it's all about your self-worth and um, how you carry yourself. Not every female looks at the mirror a thousand times before that she leaves the house. Some guys do though, how about that? So do you girls like guys that look in the mirror every five seconds then or guys that look in the mirror once a week? Once a week? I, I, that turns me off. Like a pretty boy, like there's some people on Facebook I'm looking through their pictures and it's snap photos of them in the bathroom. And these are dudes. We're talking about guys, men, grown men, 20s. <laughs> Taking pictures of themselves in the bathroom and all this and poses and got all these different shirts and clothing and costumes on. And it's, I don't even do that. Like, I don't know. It's just a turn off. If you think you're better looking than I am or you spend too much time getting ready, that's a turn off to me. You need to care about how you look, you need to be presentable, but at the same time, if you're putting way too much concern into how you look, mm -hmm. it's like either you have a personal issue or you who you're trying to look good for mm -hmm. all the time like that. Um, like I think the way guys, we usually like look ourselves in the mirror all the time. I mean, I don't look in the mirror all the time, but it's just like, you know, Let's say if you're lifting, because sometimes I lift, you know, you gotta at least, you know, when you start lifting, you gotta look up in the mirror, or take yourself a picture, you know, and, <laughs> yeah, take yourself a picture, yourself. and, like, actually, yeah, take yourself a picture, and see how you look, Before and then, like, and after, right? Before yeah, and after. no, 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 that's just, <laughs> this, like, you, 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 when you start lifting, you know, you take a picture, picture of yourself, you know, see how you look, you know, and then, yeah, put that picture somewhere, and then when you're done, like after a month or like maybe after two months, you come back, take another picture, see how your results are. You no, know, that's the way I think, you know, you know, so. Yeah, putting the picture somewhere is different from putting the picture on Facebook. Honestly, <laughs> I think if you have more than 10 pictures of yourself with your phone in it, 
snapping yourself and oh, you're yeah. a guy, yeah, even a girl, right. that's freaking annoying. For God's sake, get a photographer. <laughs> oh, get a photographer. <laughs> okay, well, I have another um, comment from another listener. And she says she wants to know why is it that guys like to run around instead of being with one sing like one woman. There are guys out there that want to be with one woman, but guess where they are? In the friendship zone. Get those guys out the friendship zone <laughs> and date that up. awkward chemistry major guy who does your homework. I bet you he will stay with you forever. Propose to your ass ten years later. You can have some beautiful kids, grow old together, die, get buried on the same damn block. <laughs> 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 Contrary, I think that it comes with the stages because most college guys, we are in college, most college guys don't want to get tied down to one girl. They want to be out here, out with, you know, different girl every night, different person every day because to them, to their friends and everything, it seems cool. Not to, not to, I don't want to generalize everyone, but for the most part, you go around this campus, it's a Thursday night, there's people pre-gaming, no one's looking to put a ring on someone's finger. And I feel like a lot of women have to realize that we're in college, we're young. Men are s still stupid. Sorry, yeah, men are still oh, stupid. Oh, oh, at this age. No, no, men are still not mature at this age. And until then, I say, I, I mean, whoever makes it out of college, clearly they have motivation and determination. And I feel like that's when a lot of women need to start being more serious about who they date at this point. <laughs> Actually, I think they, uh, the tide is changing. Um, a lot of my friends, I've been getting married recently, um, you know, I'm talking about people I went to high school with, you know, they're seniors, or we just recently graduated, and um, yeah, so recently, um, a lot of married couples out there. Um. I think it also depends with the culture. White people, I guess, <laughs> white people do get married younger, which is this true. African men, 40 year olds still flirting with some 18 year old girls at the club. Hey, still Indiana, not married. The legal age is 16. Still not married. <laughs> <laughs> still doesn't matter. There is old ass African, almost in their 50s, still, you know, want to play around with young girls. So I think it also depends with your culture. Issue whether or not you think girls should wear makeup. There are girls who like makeup and who wear makeup. And if guys, if that's something you're saying that you like, I don't know. Why, why you're caring about what's in our handbag. Right. Drake, Drake said it best, actually. He said, sweatpants, pants tied, chilling with no makeup on. That's one of the prettiest. Um, so, <laughs> that don't make sense to you. I mean, you don't have to wear makeup. I mean, to impress me, at least, you know. Um, it was at the end of the day. It's not the makeup I'm looking at, really, so. BS. I'm oh, calling oh. you a BS, Martin, because when you go out there, you do look at females and you see how they're dressed, <laughs> how they look, and they did put in time to look that good. So you're basically BSing because if you were to go out somewhere and some girl was wearing some raggedy shorts, some shoes that did not match and everything was not looking all put, I swear you would not approach that girl to talk to her. So do first impressions do matter, and it, if it takes makeup, for the person, you know, to look good and to your standards, then the person's gonna put makeup on. So I am calling your BS. I mean, this, I don't understand this. Like, you guys look at Kim Kardashian, Megan Good, all of these sexy, you know, girls. Who wear makeup? Who's you guys? Who all wear makeup? Who's you guys? All Tons makeup. of makeup. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, and we do, we do look at them. Like, at, the at the end of the day, it's a dream, right? I'm looking at Megan Fox, I'm like, damn, she's hot, but I know I'm not gonna get that, I'm not gonna end up with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, right? I'm limited. I'm and just to go off from that, like, first off, as being a black woman here, we have different standards of beauty. There's so many different standards of beauty, and I feel like a lot of minority women have a big problem with that. They want, you know, beauty is long, straight hair, you know, your skin is flawless, and all this crap. And like, you know, we sometimes don't fit the mold, and I feel like some girls fall victim of what um, society feels is beauty, that they can't really see their own beauty. To answer the phone, they have to use makeup. To sit around the house to get the mail, they have to use makeup. To go to sleep, they have to use isolated girl. You know, she used so much makeup that I wake up in the morning looking the same. You know, when she wake up in the morning, no hair, nothing. It's like a, a freaking gorilla laying next to me. Oh <laughs> and then if I have a nightmare, if I have a nightmare at night of gorillas chasing me, then I wake up and turn around and look at that, man, I'm gonna flip. <laughs> I mean, women should be, you know, secure with themselves, man. You know, makeup makes them feel like they're insecure. And I don't know, I just feel like, you know, wait, makeup is okay, but you just can't go a day without it, and it's a problem.
one of our man listeners, he agrees. He says that he likes natural beauty. He doesn't like the fake boobs and the fake breasts and the hair and, you know, all the makeup. He said, you know, so he doesn't like makeup at all. So um, some men, I guess, and it's really a preference thing when we're talking about this. There are going to be some men who like their women to be dolled up more. It's really a matter of preference. Hey, my issue is like you know <clears throat> when you're when you're in a relationship with a woman you know uh, how come like when you guys have a fight you know look, like after a fight you know, after like some months have passed you know like after everything is gone then you start another fight and then the woman keep bringing up the same thing that, you know the same thing that happens like month 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 good, good you know <laughs> why do you always bring up that stuff you know you're supposed to when you forgive each other stuff you know you're not supposed to bring it up you know actually. In my experience, the guys are the ones who don't talk about it, and then two or three months later, they want to bring it up. Uh, so I think you're getting the wrong. No, 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 no. That's okay. such a lie. That's a lie. That's an issue that's already been resolved. Yeah, you the resolved it. Been solved and everything, you know. But then the, you know, when we have another completely different argument, yeah. you know, and you be like, well, yeah, I remember that one time 12 months ago, you did this, this, and this, like. Well, we, we, we already solved that case. Why you got to bring it back? Maybe you shouldn't be doing the same mistake again. How I don't think it's the same mistake, man, because this is, you know, it's why something different. Why should you bring it back up if it's not the same mistake? No, you're not supposed to bring it up because this is something different. So All why, right, why would you bring it up? chairs in here. We're going to go to Miss Selena right quick. Uh, got something I'll, to say. Tell, I'll, I'll subside this. I'll tell you why that is because I'm, I'm engaged and I've heard this complaint Ooh. from my fiancé before. And the reason why this is, it seems like it... It is random to you guys. It seems like it's out of the blue, but really it's coming from things that you've been doing and that you're doing, and it's really the pattern of the same event of things that we've told you about before. And it's like, do, ladies, do you feel like you ever repeat yourself yeah. over, over and over, over, over again? Why don't you guys listen? When we hear ourselves repeating ourselves all this time, we feel like we're not getting listened to. Then the, then, then the fights come. Then all of that comes. If you were just to listen and be considerate and be into what I'm saying and take time and understand what I'm trying to say, I'm pretty sure a lot of guys will probably not be in hot water as um, they think they are. Listen to, your, listen to your formula. Listen to your formula. The girl talks, the guy listens. The guy obeys, we're fine. Why does it have to be like that? The woman comes home, makes dinner. You can help and do dishes, but no, you have to be told to do that. Do you think that she was using a freaking disposable pot to make Ooh, the dinner? Uh, make dinner? You're like no, she was not. You can go help do dishes. You can tell yourself to do something. That's why we get so frustrated. We get telling you things over and over again. When we complain, you guys are not listening. So I cook. Microwave I'm dinners a... are not cooking. No, no, I cook oh, African I dishes, man. Cook Egusi too, soup. Man. I cook food. I know my food, man. I know my food. Quit dating that jerk only because the way he looks or the way he walks right. or the way he talks. Right. That's the problem. Those guys are rubbish. They do absolutely nothing. I feel like when women care about something, they tell you. They tell you right then. You know, and maybe that might be an issue with women Richard too. Sister. That's an issue with women. I will admit that's an issue that I've had <sighs> is saying exactly how you feel because that's how you feel man. at that moment. If you keep telling a man the same thing over and over again, well maybe, I mean, maybe he doesn't care about you. I'm just saying, if, he's, if he cares about you, and he's willing to change. Good I mean, point. I'm just that's saying, you know, point. if you keep telling a man to pick up his socks, over and over it sucks, and over. seriously. I mean, if he doesn't listen to you, maybe, I mean, <laughs> maybe he could care less about you, you know? Seriously, you know? what, Jay, what kind of man do you think? Seems like you're talking, hey, it sounds like personal experience to me. Hey, it seems like you're talking, yeah, you know, it seems like you're talking to kids, you know? So clueless about sex, for example, how about, that was the wrong hole. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh my gosh. That's actually a good point. Uh, <laughs> no, that's a good point, Jane, you bring up when it comes to sex. Girls like for the three minutes of foreplay, but guys only like for the three seconds of foreplay, and they consider driving to your house part of the foreplay. And that is really, <laughs> that is really rubbish. On that part, I have to side with the girls. It's all about the ego, just like when you get lost, you're driving somewhere, they don't want to ask for direction. Same thing. If you're lost down there, I think you should ask for help. But how can you get lost down there? It's only free, oh, okay. <laughs> How can you get lost down there? Oh my goodness. It takes some guys longer to find the clit than it took the British oh to find God. some islands. I'm just saying. Wow. This is what I was told, wow. not my opinion. Guys out there, wow. wow. Dang. That's how wow. we wow. the show. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you, I thought you really feel. Wow.